<laughs> I don't know whether you saw that. That was a floor manager just creeping in there. Crosby, Stills and Nash with Teach Your Children, a very special song for this Live Aid performance. And uh, joining us here in the nightclub, Robbie Coltrane. Welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what can I tell you except that it's complete disgrace, really, that we have to do all this stuff because what, what is happening tonight is that compassion has been taken into the private sector. Now, there's a lot of ways of looking at this. Why should compassion be taken into the private sector? Why can't central government take care of this business? Why can't all the governments of the world are spending thousands of millions of pounds of denario of uh, francs or whatever on the old bomb centralize their uh, perception of the universe towards Ethiopia? You tell me, I can't. Having said that, Having said that, that level of compassion has been taken into the private sector. We all have a duty. I can't play the guitar. I couldn't go up there and do all that stuff, much like yourself. So I'm here tonight to say to you, don't worry about how much money you have. Don't worry about uh, how much you have to offer. It's the old widow's mite routine. If you've got 50 pence to bung in an envelope, do it. Do it. Government won't do it. We can do it. We've proved that uh, people throughout the world have got some sort of collective sensibility. We don't need central government to show our feelings about these things. Bung something into an envelope and send it off. I've and asked you to particularly... Yes, particularly go in north Glasgow. Of the border, no, please. it's got to be said, of course, that the Scots are the most generous people in the world. Am I right? The mythology is completely nonsensical. And... The number to ring is 041 if you're ringing outside Glasgow. <laughs> if you're not, shut up. It's 357-1774. I'll say that again for those of you who are drunk or have been smoking things. And if you have, the police will be around in a minute because we've had our binoculars on you for some time. The number is 041 if you're outside Glasgow. 357-1774. Put that money into the envelope, send it off. Right, the address coming up later you. on. Right. Robbie, we'll filch your pockets, if you don't mind, and get, get, some, get some money <laughs> off you. <laughs> I have, uh, I have, uh, well, put it this way, I have put my car up for, for auction. Now, you told me this earlier this evening. I think yes. this is a very, very generous offer, and this is genuine. This is not, this is not Robbie Coltrane pulling the old leg. Tell yes. us the story. Well, I have a beautiful 1962 Ford console, which I have rebuilt over two years. It's got a brand new engine. Brand new suspension, steering, brakes. It's got a lot of nice work done on it, and I would like to auction it off. Right. Something we can't do at the moment, but we'll work no, out a way of doing it. No, we can organise it later. And it's an absolute cracker, two-tone. It's what the Ford used to call maroon and cream, which to you is Smooth a kind car. of ready colour and a bit of white. No. It'd be hired out for making rock videos forevermore. It Great has car. been, in fact. I've Great done a car. few, yeah. I've just heard on the old earpiece here that we have raised one and a half million pounds in Britain today. Right. And if I could get some of these people to pay attention around here, we give you a round of applause for that. Thank you very much indeed for pledging yes. that money. That's excellent, one and a half million pounds. But we can now cross back to Philadelphia, to the JFK Stadium, Crosby, Stills and Nash once again, and a super song from them. This is Sweet Judy Blue. Thank you. 